we will start now looking at um, QMF filter, filter banks. So they're quadrature mirror filter filter banks. And those filters, they are a base for other types of filters widely used in all decoding, like the pseudo quadrature mirror filter filter banks or the conjugate quadrature um, filter banks. And we will start with the simple QMF. And in this case, we iterate to a band system. So we have here, there is a high pass session, then a low pass session, and then again, this low pass session is subdivided by a high pass, fashion, uh, pass session and then a low pass session. So it's a two band system. And we see that we have here some coefficients and then down sampling, then some coefficients for one for the high pass section, one for the low pass, and this uh, down sampling by two. So there is one problem is that the aliasing propagation reduces frequency selectivity. These QMF filter banks, they are important in image coding, but they have no big role in audio coding. So how do we obtain a two band filter bank to use this, uh, to produce this quadrature mirror filter banks or wavelets also, you can also refer to uh, wavelet packets for a more general uh, theory about this. And we have an analysis polyphase for a two band filter bank given here. So observe the H of 0, 0 contains the even coefficients of the low pass filter and H10 contain the odd coefficients and accordingly for the high pass filter. So given the analysis filters, the synthesis filters, they can be obtained by inverting the analysis polyphase matrix and the inversion of this matrix here is given here. And we have one divided by the determinant. And observe that if the analysis filters have a finite impulse response and the synthesis is desired to be also an FIR, then the determinant of the polyphase matrix needs to be a constant or a delay. And observe that this is the output of the lower band of the filter bank if the input signal is equal to this here. Hence, the determinant can be formulated as a convolution. So the input is the high band filter coefficients with the sign of the even coefficients flipped and switched places with the odd coefficients. So since this represents a critically sampled filter, the result represents every second sample of the convolution of the low band filter with the correspondingly modified high band filter. This modified high band filter is a low band filter every um, second sample sign flipped. So the desired out output of this down sample convolution is a single pulse corresponding to a constant or a delay, hence it's flat in frequency. So another interpretation of this could be the correlation of two si signals where the even legs that appear after downsampling are zero except for the one pulse. So this is the analysis polyphase for a two-band filter bank. The synthesis given by the inversion of this, we have this determinant, then we need to have a um, constraint for this determinant, that this determinant needs to be a constant or a delay, and we have certain cases where it happens. We've looked at um, two band filter banks, uh, and now we can go to the design strategy for a QMF filter. So the strategy is that we design a low pass filter for analysis synthesis, and then we obtain the high pass filters by flipping the low pass filters every second coefficient just like we've seen before. So sign flipping to obtain the high band filter leads to those polyphase components given here. And the resulting determinant is given here. So it's minus two times H of zero one of Z times H of zero zero of Z. So observe that this cannot be made a constant or a delay for finite polynomials of order one or greater. Hence, 
there, are, there is no perfect reconstruction for finite length filters. So the QMF accounts for the sign flipping in the determinant equation, but not for the trading places of even and odd coefficients. Hence, there, there is no perfect reconstruction. There will be a reconstruction error and high stop band attenuation is needed to keep the reconstruction error small. So what we do is we use numerical optimization to obtain that the absolute value of H0 squared plus the absolute value of H1 squared is approximately equals to 1. And here we have a structure of um, this filter bank. So we have um, one session here, down samplers. This is the analysis part. This is the synthesis part. And here we would have a reconstruction. In this case, it's not a perfect reconstruction. And here we just we have the lower band part and the upper band part. And here we have sampling frequency divided by four. An example of uh, the impulse response of length 96 uh, of a QMF, it's given here. So here we have the impulse response of the low pass and here the impulse response of the high pass.